Hello there, I'm Jamie. Welcome to another session of Vistex Pro Services. In this session, I'll quickly take you through some of the new features of the Project Manager plugin. Let's start by opening this dialog first. One of the key new features of this version of Project Manager is the ability to use Models tab to select multiple folders, copy them from one folder to another, or simply move them. Also, users can select and hide multiple folders, as well as using the new AutoSign previews to generate thumbnail images to files such as 3ds Max, proxies and etc. The same new features also apply to material tabs. To demonstrate this, let's begin by dragging multiple folders into the Models tab. To select multiple folders, hold down the control key from your keyboard and select intended folders one by one. To copy them, users can press Ctrl plus C or simply right click and choose to copy from the pop-up menu. Select a new folder or create a new catalogue followed by selecting and pasting the previously copied folders into it. As you can see, they are all there now. Users can also select multiple folders and simply move them. As mentioned earlier, Users can select multiple folders, right-click and choose to delete from hard drive, hide from models, remove from models tab, add to batch renders and relink, and auto-sign previews. To hide multiple folders, simply select them, right-click and choose to hide from models. In the hide directory dialog, users can choose to hide only current, hide all, or cancel. Let's choose to hide only current. To view the hidden folders, simply click on a common settings button. In this dialog, users can choose to add more directories or remove. For the purpose of this exercise, we are going to remove them. Let's click on a common settings button again to close its dialog. As mentioned earlier, users can select multiple folders and choose to auto sign previews. The auto sign previews function associates image thumbnails to files such as 3ds Max, proxies and etc. As an example, this folder here has a max file without an image preview thumbnail. The auto sign previous function works best when the preview image thumbnail has a similar file name. In this other separate folder, we have a list of image thumbnails with names similar to some of the existing max files. Let's select all the relevant folders with the max files and a separate folder with the JPEG thumbnails. Next, right click and choose the auto sign previous. In the Options dialog, ensure to enable the Process subdirectories and process all the listed file extensions to associate the JPEG thumbnails to, and click to continue. The auto sign Previous dialog should pop up. In the Search in Directories, you have the same directory option by default, which is quick to search, as it looks into one directory only. Since we are working in multiple directories and folders, we are going to enable the subdirectories option, the parent directory, and the nearest directories. All these options will take slightly longer to search. Also, be sure to enable the suffix function and click to start. As you can see, Project Manager is searching through all the selected directories. The auto sign previews is now completed and all JPEG file associations have been made, as you can see. In the material folder, all the JPEG thumbnails are still there, but now they're associated with those max files based on their name similarities. In the materials tab, the same applies to material library names only. To do this, you need to have a previously saved material library. Select drag and drop folder or folders with the saved material libraries. As you can see, there's a material library with the name Jim. In the Sin Materials folder, there are JPEG thumbnails associated with some of the material editor names in the Jim material library. As previously done, let's select multiple folders and choose to auto sign previews. As you can see, they have all been associated automatically. Alternatively, you can choose one or multiple material editors in a library, followed by right clicking, choosing thumbnail and render thumbnails. This concludes our tutorial. I really hope you found it useful, like and share it. And I hope to see you on my next one.